Last time we read a lot of lore, now we see our first person. Let's talk to them. Oh, hello, you're new. Who are you? Where did you come from? I am looking for a fuel chip. I am looking for fuel, for fuel. I'm just a random scavenger. Mind your own business. All right, let's be nice. Am I actually looking for a fuel chip or for fuel? I think I'm looking for both. Eh. He smiles. Or she? You are in the right place, but I must disappoint you. All the easy fuel is long gone. What is left is probably tucked away behind tightly locked doors, and unfortunately for you, we've got a claim on it already. What do you mean? Did you get to it already? As far as I know, Vilnius and the guys are about to break through any moment now. Maybe you can trade for it then. So it is still up for grabs. Hey, treat very carefully now, lad. I know it looks like we are real good chums here, but trust me, if you cross any of us, you'll regret it. There are just so many of us against you alone here, so be smart. Oh, another level up. Let's do speech, since we're gonna have to deal with more people, apparently. Am I really supposed to level up this quickly? Or is this a bug? Or or, or is it because it's the demo? Or... Don't touch us, he says. W why? Can I touch the ship, please? Can I ask you a question? What are you guys even doing on the station? Or w what's that thing on the landing pad? Let's, let's do the first first. Okay, we already had that. Okay, let's do the other. That was a bit weird. Uh... Couldn't return to the main menu of this conversation. What's that thing on the landing pad? That's one of our engine power conduits. It's as old as the world itself and should have been replaced eons ago, but we don't get new stuff here, do we? I have to keep these things running with duct tape and hope. Can I help somehow? Not unless you've got B521 valve laying around. <laughs> but uh, seriously, if you see something like that while looting, come by. So I am allowed to loot? B521, okay, noted. I hope I have actually noted that. Yeah, I did. Dumpus, a mechanic for a scavenger group, needs a replacement valve. The mechanic for the scavenger group. Alright, let's go through here. I think uh, there should be... No enemy? Hmm, spied. But where is this enemy? Cambot. Jeans and a keycard. Okay, so while this one is gone, let's grab that keycard real quick. Okay, that went well. Alright, let's see what... Uh, gun... Probably also has a gun, I don't know. In here we have... PNH-5G, Low Power Self-Defense Ranged Weapon. Let's get it, just in case. Uh, Comet Knife? Uh, no. Black Balls, a medieval-looking heavy brown opaque ceramic bottle with golden insignias. The label promises hints of linden blossom, birch bud, bud, valerian root, raspberry. What the heck is this? Um, Billberry and gingers and potential healing side effects. <laughs> potential healing side effects. Like it might have a side effect of healing you. All right, let's. What is this? Infirm, um, infirmary, infirmary, infirmary. Let's get it back in here. Let's take a quick look at these boxes. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's a computer manual. Let's take a look at that. There's a small valve. I think that's the wrong valve. Device that regulates, directs, or controls the flow of fluid by opening, closing, or partially obstructing various uh, passageways. And in here we have can, piece of pipe, e, e something, and hot plate. All right, that's fine. Let's take a look at uh, the computer manual. A book about basic interactions with computers. It covers very, very simple topics. I guess if you didn't know how to turn a terminal on, this could be helpful. Hmm, interesting. Actually, if you have zero computer skills, that's... That's exactly what you need, I think. We're gonna drop this, because it has a uh, weight, and we don't need it. Alright, we're gonna go over here, because this is VR suit, and we have a VR suit key. Ah, for freaking heck. Can we just... over here. What? Door is locked with an electric lock. You need the correct keycard to open it. I have the correct e keycard. 
Jeez. Alright, out of combat again. I really hate the range of these enemies. VR suit keycard, how do I... VR, VR suit... Hmm. Maybe I need a different thing for this and then down there... Can, or can I use it here? Nope. I don't get it. So we're gonna go upstairs once this guy disappears. Alright, here we go. What? It's locked. Access close to de technical difficulties. Okay, how about here? And what does this one have? Nothing interesting. Oh, thank goodness there's no enemies. At least not alive ones. Each of these has a gun and there's three people to talk to. Also, I guess I could take off my suit if I wanted to. Oh, great. I'm Nakis now. That's better. Okay, person. Perception. Read personality. Let's try that. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Tricky. Success. <clears throat> While someone might easily label this tall, strong individual as the group's muscle, you get a sense that there's more behind the facade than he lets on. He is quiet, does not engage in discussions easily, but you feel it is because he is not really interested in those conversation topics. You carefully example his apparel, trying to discover any clue as to what could interest this bear. Dot, dot, dot. You suddenly notice a small metal badge on this spacesuit. It does not seem to have come with the apparel. More likely, this is an intentional garment. The badge looks like a hexagon with triangles on inside it. There are numbers all around it. Two, eight... Uh, 14 and in the very middle proudly 20. You know what it is because I'm so scientifically apt. You immediately recognize D20 gaming dice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. A symbol of tabletop role-playing games. This is an undeniable nerd insignia. Eadzas is a huge nerd, huh? Uh, that badge. Are you a tabletop player? I'm a dungeon master. <laughs> Tilts tilts his head a bit and looks at you curiously. I am a dungeon master. Cool, how often do you guys play? Never. But you said you are a game master? On Earth we had a group, not so much on the ship. Ouch. That is tough. Stuck with people that you have little in common with. Not exactly nothing in common, but indeed they mostly do not care for the things I am interested in and have little to talk about as a consequence. I do wish I was on Earth. Funny thing, I did not tell you about me. I am the captain of a passenger spaceship that broke down in the middle of the junk space. As soon as I find a working fuel ship and a bit of fuel, we will leave for Earth. Uh, I am pretty sure I can free up space for one additional person if you can help me. Thanks, but I must decline. I don't know you well enough and our group has a plan. It would be foolish to risk it now. What kind of plan? Oh, yeah, tell me everything. Says nothing. All right. I wish I could, you would reconsider and join me. That badge. Uh, yeah, okay, 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 okay. As I said already, thanks, but I must decline. Okay, I understand. Uh, what about the badge again? Nerd. No. Wait, what kind of master? No, I know what he's talking about. Cool, how often are you guys playing? Blah, blah, blah. We did all that. Uh, can I play? I cannot at the moment. We are busy here. Too bad, probably I'll be gone later. Shrugs. So maybe, we, like, I can convince him later of something if I do some tasks for people and they like me more? I don't know. I hear footsteps. Hmm, it's that guy. I hope I will not have to die soon. Well, we have two more people to talk to. Let's see how they react if I undress. Hello. Why don't you put some clothes on? Please put on some clothes on. Please put some clothes on. But guys, I have... um f Charm... F okay, maybe if I had Charm 5, they would react differently. Equip the captain's uniform that commands respect. Oh yeah, check it out. It actually... In Increases speech, apparently. Here. Cool. But it doesn't even say so here. That's weird. Alright, person. Yes. 
Let's read her personality. Tricky. Success. A sense of grounded rationality and confidence radiates from this woman. On the other hand, you also feel she does not have direct control over decisions in the group, many of whom she considers less competent. Puh. But instead of being frustrated and angry, she seems to be calm, thus implying she still can manipulate the course of actions and reach her goals. She very well could be the grey eminence of this group. The grey eminence. I guess that was it. Mind if I ask you a question? Actually, I do mind. I am afraid Vilnis will just run downstairs the moment he breaks the lock without thinking and looking around for a second. Why shouldn't he? We already lost a member of our crew today. This station is full of combat... Uh, co cambots. Com combat cambots. For some reason. And I think there could be more downstairs. There should be a security terminal somewhere to disable them. And since I don't see one around here, it must be behind this locked door. Alright. I'll leave then. Keep away from the door and we'll have no problems. Wow, this guy's voice, but very quiet. Uh, what's so special about this door? Yeah, let me use my charm. Heck yeah. There's a freaking treasure behind this door. He hesitates for a second, like evaluating if you can be trusted with the answer. Finally, he smiles. Treasure? Really? Like gold and gems? <laughs> no, you dumb dumb. This is access to the fuel bunker, which is still full of precious juice. That's way better than gold. Ha ha ha. Alright, uh, do you need uh, help, perchance? Or how do you know? Or help? This needs a dice rolling sound effect. Actually, do you know anything about locks? I mean, can you pick one? This one? Yeah, it's locked up real good. Maybe a bit too good for us. If you can bust it open for us, you get as many fuel cells as you can carry. Deal, I'll see what I can do. Or should I try to bargain? Nah, let's, let's be nice. Great, then you're welcome to give it a go. All right. Maybe later I need a like a tool for that. Actually, can I just try? Door is locked with an electronic lock. You need the correct keycard to open it. Pick the lock. If you had something small and conductive, a hairpin, for example, you could try to short circuit to trigger locking the locking mechanism. Cool. So I guess I will have to get that in a bit. Uh, there is no none here. Maybe some over here in these boxes. Okay, for now there's another pink person to talk to. Fridges with whiskey and schnapps and uh, empty vitrine for food. There's a computer and another computer. Hmm. Bar cash register. What is... What do you... Come on. What is bar cash? Oh, it's bar cash register. All right. I wonder if money has any value. Hmm. Hack. Cash or cash? Caché? Caché or cash? What? With withdraw caché. I got 213 peer coins. Um, that was all I can do here, right? Can I hack it again? For some more money? Alright. Can I log in? I doubt it. Please swipe your Q-Bar employee card, which I do not have. Never mind. Alright, now let's hack this one. Oh, it's a public access uh, terminal. We already did that. Social network uh, is... Wait, what? This one has access to the social network. Why, why does that... How does that work? Tenka messaging board. July 9th, 2075. Not 77, haha. <laughs> Christy51. Let's go dancing. Q bar is full now, says Bro21. Some far edge miners came last night and been partying ever since. This is not hope. All right, I guess they're supposed to be drunk or something. Maybe it's uh, TTS. No, no, uh, speech to text. Danny Keke, I saw their ship. It was so small they had to 69 all the way here. Ha ha ha. 
uh, how do I get the VR to the VR room? Talk to Mr. Kva down the bar or wherever he is. That's 100 pick PC uh, something coins, peer coins though. Bebedinga, thanks. <clears throat> oh, I had so good time in VR last night. So good, Mr. Kva had to wipe floors after. <laughs> Danny, you are effing disgusting, man. Yo, yo, people, I'm stuck in hospital and bored to death. Which one top? If I had to, uh, to, to go to automated dough stairs, there would probably be something stuck inside me. Uh, true story, blah, automated is the best. Automat is the be worst. Is anybody coming? I want to dance. You can dance for me, baby. Okay, 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 okay. Forgive me, man. The bunks are depressing. At least some fun on air. So this is a public chat, I guess. Or maybe some Facebook comments. It's horrible. You have no idea how hard it is to imp get import drugs out here. How about you don't let this on public record? I guess it doesn't matter. We're off Earth here. Alright, then they talk about drugs for a while. Something about a rebellion. My friend sent me PM that there has been an attack on Kurbads, which is the rock ship, whatever that is. Perkson will go all Hulk smash on their asses if they talk about it. Something about a blockade. And then more dancing. Okay. I thought maybe we could see some info about what the heck happened on this sh uh, station. But no such thing. Okay, there's a hatch here. Can we just open that? Oh, hello. Uh, I mean, I'm not dying right now. I'm not losing health, so I guess this is fine. Let's talk to this guy. Man, these footsteps are freaking me out. Whoa, hey there, I never expected to meet anybody down here. That makes both of us. Who are you? Uh, we're um, explorers, I mean scavengers. We? Me and the boys, uh, the bros. That's our ship parked at the east dock. Hard to miss it. You can find the rest of the gang upstairs on the promenade. Let me ask some more questions. What's with that door? That's ours. We call dibs on whatever is in there first. You cannot be serious, dibs. Nuh-uh, that's a rule, man. We were here first and we get to claim stuff. You better back off that room. Lightly taps on his weapon. I'm serious, man. Uh, I see. Do you mind if I ask another question? Uh, what are you doing here? My pal needs a certain part of to patch up stuff. And I am looking for it around the station. That's how we keep our running. Scavenge and patch, rinse and repeat. You know what kind of... It's kind of weird for me, like this... This dialogue window at the bottom. The dialogue currently is the center of the game. And the footsteps of the enemy there are super annoying. So why not move this into the center and maybe zoom in a bit more? I guess the idea is to allow me to see them, but that's really annoying and I cannot move the camera, so I just see their heads a little bit. And the text blocks his face as well here, even though this this art is pretty cool. Anyways, what kind of replacement part? Perhaps I can, uh, perhaps is it a, a fuel regulator or... Say, since you are exploring anyways, mind if we stick together? That would be safer, no? We, to we should totally do that. Let's ask about the replacement part first. Nah, man, all of ours are fine. These things don't really break now. No, I am looking for some kind of valve. I don't know how it looks exactly, but he said there should be a B521 written somewhere on it. Hey, I know about that one. I see. Where were we? So you are looting, right? So how about you... we stick together? Yeah, success. Strokes his chin. <laughs> Breaks the glass of his visor. You know, you might be right. There's an awful lot of these cambots and they are not joking around. Actually, we lost one of our own to those zapping bastards. Yeah, let's try to stick together. Grand, let's go then. Now I have a teammate. What's that on the floor? Dropped item. Lizardman card. A card for the game called For the Adventures and Glory. It has a spear wielding reptilians on front and description says an elite squad of warriors from the legendary swamp kingdom rating is zero EA. and seriously the footsteps the freaking footsteps are pissing me off oh there's a terminal here ship net security console hmm shutting down the bot sounds nice what are you doing janka Electronic junk. Uh, not interested. What does this guy have? And what are these? And what is there? Hairpin. Oh yeah, we need a hairpin, right? To hack, to lockpick stuff. A 
atomic battery. Radioisotope generator is a device which uses energy from the decay of radioactive isotope to generate electric... Yada yada yada, it's a battery. And that was discussed in that note about uh, illegal weapons, so that's interesting. Overalls... Huh, taking that does not undress him, that's interesting. We're gonna put them back though. Let's take the battery but put it down soon, because it's super heavy. And take the hairpin and no need for the junk. Yeah, let's take these stairs up. Okay, even more stuff in here. For now I just care about hairpins, which I just found one. Alright, that's it. Am I gonna die? Oh, I am gonna die if I go this way. What does this terminal do? Can this turn off these droids? Yes, shut down security bots, please. Missing security ID card with appropriate clearance. Hack. We can totally do this. Yes. For word in pass file enc word word encode utf8 hash word ha okay 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 digest hash word hex digest if digest input hash pass found equals one break whatever welcome super user shut down security cam bots connecting done sending a new command done waiting for confirmation done local security measures off have a nice day switch off this only shut down these guys, right? Also, they are now remains, so that's a bit extreme, but cool. Very cool. And no more stupid footsteps. Footsteps. Except my own. Man, this field of view is really annoying. What is that? Another card. Orcs card. A card from a game called For the Adventure and Glory. It sports a bunch of big ugly green monsters which, with sharp teeth and jagged swords. And on front, and on front and description says, Orcs were ravaging and pillaging invaders have been terrorizing farms and small towns for centuries. Power rating free. I am um, gonna be collecting cards now. Okay, we're done with that. Ah, freaking heck. Let's get out of here or die. Okay, that was weird. I do not really understand how the combat works sometimes. Sleeping pills, I remember those being useful in the demo. I actually played the demo of this game on itch like two or three years ago. Ointment, to lull you into nice, deep and restoring sleep, used by doctors to dull pain and treat injuries, works almost instantly. I mean, sure, I don't know if it's useful. Maybe I can sedate the whole crew and just take everything I need. This guy seems to be stuck. Are you coming? Yeah, he's totally stuck. So somebody wanted something about this security terminal. Was it... I think it was her. Ingrid. Um, mind if I ask you a question? Why shouldn't he... I saw... Okay, there should be a security terminal somewhere to disable them. And since I don't see one around here, it must be behind this locked door. I saw one downstairs where... when I was coming here. Downstairs, all right, below us, but still outside the fuel bunker door. It makes sense. We should disable the cam bots from it. Can you take me there? All right, let's go. All right, we can go. So she changed it into a suit. I hope you know where we are going because I don't know the station at all. Lead the way and I'll follow. Try to avoid trouble if you can. All righty, let's go down here. Did I already talk to her? Anyways, what's happening here? Oh, uh, they're trying to get the door open, but you should probably talk to Vilnius here. He's like our leader or something. Who, who's that, though? Is that a blue guy? I don't know. Ah, I see. Can I ask another question? Mm, you came with that big ship? Yeah. Spriditis. We live there. How long have you been living there? Since ever. I, it's been like, what, 20 years? Why, way too long. I hate it so much. Oh, sounds tough. Oh, you have no idea. That ship is really small and there is no personal space at all. You constant, constantly are with somebody and if they get on your nerves, there's just nowhere to hide. Ugh. Uh, let's talk to her again and this time read her mind. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on. Well, that sucks. 
I guess I'll never read her mind. Also, when the dice rolling animation was gone. All right, so down here, down here we are. Hello, will you join me? Yes. Okay, not you, because they look the same. Okay, hey, can can you actually move? Because you are a dropped item right now. Ah, they're both stuck. This sucks. Okay, if I move the mouse properly, I can click on Ingrid. Uh, here we are. This is the terminal I was talking about. Did we already do the read personality stuff? Yeah, we did. Ha, huh, that turns out it was near nearby indeed. Didn't think it would be so close. Approaches the terminal and starts interacting. Wait. She seems preoccupied. Something's wrong. I cannot get in. Damn, the security here is tough. Really? Let me try. Come on. Come on. Not impossible. Oh, come on! This terminal has surprisingly tough security redundancies in place. You failed to bypass all of them. Do we have a plan B? Hold your horse. We still can get in with the right keycard. I don't have it, and I wonder if it is still on the station. One step at a time. Whatever happened here happened very quickly, and a lot was left behind in evacuation. Tap some keys. I say we try to find this guy. Kasimir Novak. Or his room. I managed to pull an access log, probably because there's almost nothing valuable, only dates and names, and I can see that this Kasimir Novak guy has access to this terminal a lot. Alright, but where do we find him? We have only a name. There should be an employee database in the station security office. Just get me there and I'll find his record, I am sure. Alright, let's go find the security station. Hmm. Interesting. Where the heck am I going now? Well, back up first things first. And how about we finally take out that robot over there with the help of my two little friends next time. Ciao.